Hello everyone, this is Chad Gornick and today's MIT App Inventor tutorial is going to be on how to link to websites from a button. For my application, what I'd like to do is create a button that when the user clicks on it will link them to a golf website. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new button by clicking on the button and dragging it to my screen. I'm then going to change the width and height of the button to fill parent I'm gonna change the background of the button to a light blue color the font size of the text to 17 and the text to Click here for a link to the golf website and it will update. And to link to a website, one of the tools we need to use is the Activity Starter. The Activity Starter is located under Other Stuff and we'll drag it onto our screen you should see it update at the bottom and for this button that we just created I'm gonna rename that button to link to website in camel case no notation again camel case notation is just starting with a capital letter on each word and I'm then going to go to the blocks editor to create this step and link to the website the first thing we'll need to do is go to my blocks and go to our but button that we just named link to website and click the block called link to website dot click drag it onto our screen To get the web browser to launch on the emulator, we'll need to use a couple different blocks. To gather the, the information for these blocks, I went to the beta um, website for the App Inventor, and I'll include this in the link below my video, and searched for how to open a browser in a web page. I was prompted with two sets of code one an action and one a data URI so we're gonna find those two blocks first and import them they will be under our activity starter and the first one that we'll need to use is activity starter one dot data URI and we're gonna put that inside our link to website block The second block we'll need is the activity starter one dot action, and that will go beneath the activity starter one dot data URI block. And if it goes above it, just simply click on it and drag it. There we go. That seemed to do it. And the third block we'll need is the activity starter one dot start activity block. And we'll drag that underneath the activity starter one dot action block. For the activity starter one dot data URI block, we're going to put the link to the website that we want the user to launch. For my example, 
I want to link to the golf channel so I'm going to copy and paste that website into a text block just like that for the activity starter one dot action block I also want to grab a text block and we're going to type the text Android dot intent dot action dot view view should be all in capital letters and this code is case sensitive so if you type it another way it will not work what we've done now is we have a link to website button we have a website and we have these two blocks that will launch the website using the mobile browser on the emulator let's try it out and see if it works when the application launches I see my new button when I click on it it should link me to the web page for the golf channel when the web page launches you can use your scroll bar on your computer or your mouse to scroll up and down and even to zoom in on text and pictures this code will work for any website so you can replace it with a website of your own I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial and find it useful when designing your apps See you next time.